Hi, Jill Jackson here, and I'm so excited to announce that I'm going to be teaching two classes at the upcoming Paint Expo in Orlando, Florida at the end of August in the style of Sandra Lett. As many of you know, I'm a moderator for her group, Sandra Lett's Share Our Acrylic Fluid Art on Facebook, and I'm so happy to be sharing some of her tips and techniques with you. I gave a lot of thought as to just how I was going to approach this. Do I try to recreate a painting exactly, or do I try to use the techniques for something of my own? As I painted, I answered my own questions. I definitely began this piece with a specific painting of Sandra's in mind, but as I painted, I achieved a real state of flow and I found that while I had incorporated many of Sandra's techniques, I had gone on to add a few touches of my own. And this, I think, is what most of us are wanting to do when we watch another artist's videos, learn the techniques, and then use them in our own unique ways. So I hope you enjoy where I've gone with this. After watching a video marathon on Sandra Lett's YouTube channel, I went out to paint. My recipe for paint is one-third acrylics and two-third Floetrol. Here, I'm using Artist Loft paints from Michael's Crafts. I started with a wet white canvas, going over it with a butane torch to remove any bubbles. After pouring some paints into a frozen dinner tray, I poured it over the canvas to get started. My paint is a bit thick here, which is why it poured into a ribbon kind of effect. I really like it, but next time I'll probably thin my paints a bit. After this initial pour, I went on to tilt the ribbons to where I wanted it on the canvas. Then I went on to pour a few colorful puddles for flowers. Using two straws taped together, I blew little wisps to blow the flowers out into shape and added some definition with a bamboo skewer. One of my very favorite techniques from Sandra are her mini swipes. Here, I'm using a thick cardboard tag to do some little swipes. You can also use a credit card. I often receive those little dummy credit cards in my junk mail. Or another great tip from Sandra, an old unwanted photograph, postcard, or index card. The motion is a very light swipe with a little flick of the wrist at the end. It takes some practice for sure. It's very important to wipe your painting tool in between uses to prevent making mud. So go ahead and clean off your credit card, your tag, whatever you're using for those mini swipes in between your swipes so that you don't mix up the paints. I used a small dirty pour in a paper cup to pour my leaves. Before pouring, I formed the cup into a spout for better control. I fiddled with these leaves for a while before it dawned on me that a mini swipe used with my tag would do the trick, and it sure did. Okay, this is about the time I went off script. I was already in love with this piece and just kind of went off on autopilot, which to me just goes to show how incredibly inspirational Sandra Lett's art and style really are. The painting I had in mind contained no black, and after I woke up from my state of flow, I realized I had added some black, albeit in Sandra Lett's style from a squeeze bottle. I think the black really makes the colors pop. What have I learned from this piece? I've learned so many fabulous techniques from Sandra, and I love to paint. I think it really opens up your artistic mind to watch other artists paint. There's a world of techniques and tips that await you to learn them and incorporate them, and a universe of inspiration. I encourage you to check out Sandra's YouTube channel. 
I'll be sure to add a link in the video description below. And I hope also to spark your creativity and motivate you to create. Inspiration is all around us, and the path to success requires devotion to practice. Hey, that's pretty good. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe for more tips and ideas and visit SisterEarth.net for videos, events, and to check out the fine art and children's books available for purchase. As always, happy creating, my friends!